Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we'll be going over badges and everything about them, so let's get right into it. If you guys don't know what badges are, there's basically these things under Roblox games that you can earn by doing certain things in the game. So, if you look under a Roblox game, um, under the badges section, you will see the game's badges that you can earn. And when you earn a badge, you, you can see that on a player's profile. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how you can implement your own badges in your Roblox games. Um, so let's first make a badge. You want to pull up your game, which I'll do now. So when you have your game pulled up, like if it's the game page, you want to right click on the three dots and click configure this experience. Now when you've made it to this content settings, all these things here um, inside of your game, when you have this pulled up, you want to scroll down to badges and I actually haven't created a badge yet so click on create a badge down here it says that the first five badges that you create are free um, but after that it costs 100 robux so keep that in mind you want to upload a picture for your uh, badge a name and a description so to start off I'm going to like make um, so I'm going to insert a blur effect you guys want to, if you guys want to make your icon, make a blur effect, uh, take a snipping tool, snip of it, um, put some text over it saying you played, and that's just going to be my badge. But you guys create whatever you guys like. Um, the badge size um, is 512 by 512. Uh, that is the dimensions, so keep that in mind when you are making uh, an icon. Okay, so I have my icon made. Um, I just have a blurred background that says welcome. Uh, I'm going to change the name to you played, or I'm just going to say welcome as the name and the description I'm going to set as you played or you played the game, I guess you played the game that works. And then you want to click create badge. You will see that the badges are in the game's place. It says welcome. We can open it and do all this other stuff. We want to copy the asset ID because we will need this when we are scripting it. Now you guys have probably already seen this, but these are the three main methods in badge service, which is what I'm going to be talking about. And I'm basically telling you guys what each thing takes and what it returns and how it can help us. So to start off, we need the badge service. It's down here. I'm just going to say local badge service game. Oh, well, that's not it. <laughs> get service, badge service, and then we need to get badge ID, which is the ID that you guys should have copied. Which I, yeah, that's the one I copied. You want to put your asset ID in for the badge ID um, so we can reuse it. We are then going to make a function called uh, award badge. And then below that, I'm going to say game.players.player added connect function player. Uh, player. This is going to be, uh, I don't even put a function here. It's award badge. Um, by the way, guys, later on in this video, I'm going to be making another badge. And so this is for just playing the game uh, when you join it. So saying you played. Um, so the next badge I'll make is if you earn a certain amount of money or something like that. Okay, guys, so I actually need to make another function here called player added. So sorry about that. We are making two functions. This is player added. Um, so that's going in there. And this player added is the player. We are then going to call a word badge in here. And in that, we're going to say player and then badge ID. So we are sending in the player and the badge ID to um, this function. And again, this is player this is what we're sending in and badge id very simple now we are going to skip over award badge right now and go into get badge info async so what this does as you can see here when we call this um badge service get badge info async it takes the badge ID, which would be the badge ID. And what it returns is it returns a dictionary. This dictionary returns the 
it, we can access the name of the badge, the description of the badge, the icon image ID of the badge, and if the badge is enabled, if we can get it. So by calling this and sending in the badge ID, we can get these four pieces of information from that. So to capture all this information, I'm going to wrap this in a variable called badge info is equal to this so we can get the information. Since this is a dictionary and we can access all these pieces of information, if I say if badge info, okay, so we've got the info, and where I can say dot uh, is enabled, and I can call this. So if it is enabled, then we can award the badge to the player. Also, if you guys want to add another layer of protection onto this, you can say if player, then so to make sure that the badge is there and that the the player is there. Actually, I'm going to put the player thing up there. So if player, and then is enabled. So when we've ran through the security checks, we can then award the badge to the player. Okay, so then we can say badge service, whoops. And then we can say award the badge. It takes, uh, we can see up here the user ID and the badge ID. So player dot user ID. I'm going to define this as a player. So player dot, and you can say user ID and then the badge ID. And there you guys go. So we can award the badge to the player with the badge ID. Now guys, I should have went over this at the start, but you can only like make these badges work if your game is actually published and on the Roblox website. So if you're just in a blank base plate and hasn't been published, it's not gonna work. Uh, so you need to already have a already published game like I have here. There you go, uh, just to let you guys know. All right guys, I'm in my game, but I didn't actually see it get awarded to me. Maybe it awarded to me before I joined the game, like before I could see it, or there was like a glitch and it didn't pop up. But when I checked the website, um, it says that I already have the badge and it says item owned. Um, but for some reason I didn't get the like the actual pop up at the bottom right, but it still gave it to me. It says item owned. Um, so it, it, it still works, it still gave it to me. Now there is something that I didn't go over with you guys and that's the user has badges sync thing. So I'm going to say local results equals badge service. And then it was user has badges sync. Uh, this takes in the user ID player. I, uh, well, I, I would need this in player added thing here. So player.user ID, and it takes the badge ID again. And what this returns us, as you can see here, is it returns true or false. So I wrap this in a result, and this is checking if the player has the badge. So I'm gonna say if result result is equal, equal to true, uh, then we can set print player has badge and else print player does not have badge so you can use this to detect if the player has the badge or not so if we go into the game okay so let's head on over to the output and let's go to server um it's on the server because um you can only award badges on the client so if you go to server it says player has badge because i had already uh joined the game and had already claimed the badge Okay guys, so we can move on to um, if you have a certain amount of cash. So I made my leader stats here just so we can get the currency in our game. And I'm just gonna be kind of cheap with this. I'm just gonna make it so um, I'm basically gonna reuse the same badge. It's not actually gonna work, but if you guys change the ID and create a new badge, then I assume it would work. So we're going to make it so you get the badge if you have a certain amount of cash in your game, um, or you guys can change that. Okay, so I made this for you guys just not to waste your guys' time, but basically, I'm just going to explain it. I made a new thing called Cash to Earn. By the way, when you're making a new badge, change this badge ID. 
um, we are calling a player added function with the player. Um, if there's a player, then we're going to get their leader stats and their cash. We're going to detect when the cash has changed, so the value has changed. I also have made a new variable called cash to earn. You can change this um, to make it so you can put in whatever value you guys want the player to earn to earn the badge. I have this set to 10,000. Change that to whatever you guys want to. Uh, so if the cash's value is greater than or equal to the value that we put up there, then we're going to get the info and we're going to get if the is enabled stuff and uh, award the badge if everything goes smoothly. Now, if you guys test this game, I think this will work for you guys. Let me know if there's any problems and I will respond um, to as soon as I can, but I don't, hopefully don't think there will be any errors with this. And yeah, guys, that was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys just enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.